Hello and welcome to my video. This video will be on uh, what to do after you've installed Ubuntu 16.04 as a virtual machine on your virtual box environment. So let's get started. So in the last video we went over how to go ahead and install um, Ubuntu 16.04 through VirtualBox as a virtual machine. And in this uh, video, we'll go over what to do after you've installed your 16.04 uh, server. So the first thing you should do, um, let's go ahead and clear the screen here. And then press enter several times. And then the first thing I would suggest you do is go ahead and upgrade your, uh, your system. Uh, upgrade and update it. And to do that, you're going to use this command here. I've already done it earlier. And it's going to be that command there. sudo apt get update minus y and sudo apt get upgrade minus y. The minus y switch just tells the, uh, the package to go ahead and download it without asking any questions. Um, <coughs> And so that's how you're going to go ahead and update your uh, your uh, Ubuntu s server so that you can have updated uh, packages. So I'm just going to see out of that. Okay. And that leads us to uh, the next thing we want to talk about with your Ubuntu server. It comes with the package manager uh, apt get. App get is a package manager that you can use to install all of your packages. Uh, it does a real good job of installing the packages and, and, and configuring it and getting all the dependencies that you need. Um, and that's the package manager that we're going to use for the most part for uh, Ubuntu 16.04. Alright, and so the next thing that you want to do is you can check your uh, Let's go ahead and check our interface for a network interface card. And there are two ways of doing that. There are two different commands. The first one is the traditional legacy one, and that's with the command ifconfig space, space minus a. Okay, the minus a switch is going to uh, tell, the, tell, the tell the computer to display all interfaces for this computer. And so you just press enter. And as you can see, I have two basic interfaces. I have the first one up here, which is the Ethernet interface, ENP0S3. And you see the IP address there, the Ethernet address. That's 192.168.1.11. And then you see the second interface, which is the internal interface, the loopback interface. Okay, and you see the uh, IP address for that one is 127.0.0.1. Okay. Now, that's the tr traditional way of looking up your interfaces on uh, an Ubuntu or most Linux um, uh, servers. Let's clear the screen. There is a newer way with a newer command, and that's what the IP command is. So let's just go over that real quick. And the command is IP space address space show. You press enter, and it'll show us the same output, just output, just a little bit differently. As you can see, for this one, the loop pack interface is number one, and then the Ethernet in interface is number two. Uh, previously, with ifconfig, the uh, e Ethernet interface was number one, and the loop pack was number two. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is how you're going to look it up with the new command, with the IP uh, command. Now, a shortcut for looking it up with the new IP command would go as as follow. Let's go ahead and again clear the screen hit enter a few times and you would just do an IP space and then A for address and then S for show and then you press enter and that's the shortcut way another way of doing it is with the IP A S space and then the Ethernet name or the uh, interface name ENP 0 S 3 and then press enter and then that would display the information for the interface itself all right, so we'll go ahead and clear that. Hit enter and then down a few times. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to check your uh, ports. You want to see which ports are open. 
and which one are using different services. Now the port, I already know which port is open. It's port 22 that's open because I've already uh, uh, went through the steps of opening it and we'll go over that in a few moments. First thing is let's use the netstat command to see which ports are listening and are open. And that's just netstat space minus T for TCP IP, L for listening, and N for the port number. And then you just press enter on your keyboard. And as you can see, I have port 22 open. Now, port 22 is the uh, well-known port for SSH that allows us to log in and out of our, uh, our server remotely from another computer, another machine. Okay, so, and there was a package that I had to download with the app Git uh, Package Manager so that I can get this port open. And that package, let me go ahead and show you, clear the screen, press enter a few times. And so what I had to do is use the app get uh, package manager that requires root rights. So instead of, you can either log in as root or you can type in the sudo command, which gives you root uh, rights if you are in the uh, root group. So the command is sudo space and then app dash get space install and I usually do a minus y you don't have to do a minus y but I do that so that it won't ask you questions it'll just automatically go ahead and download the package and the package that you want to install is open ssh dash server okay and then you just press enter if if it has to it'll ask you for your username uh, your password and then it'll go ahead and download it. But as I stated earlier, I already downloaded it. But that's the uh, package you want to install so that you can go ahead and do SSH uh, operations from uh, remote servers or remote systems into this machine. Okay, and then let's see. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and look at your firewall settings. We do that through the package known as UFW. UFW comes default with a majority of Ubuntu servers and operating systems. UFW stands for Uncomplicated Firewall. In order to use UFW, you're going to need to have admin rights. So what you would need to do is just to check it out, you do a sudo space, UFW space, and then status to see if it's on. Right now it shows inactive. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and activate UFW. And that's UFW, sudo UFW space enable. And press enter. The firewall is active and it's enabled. And just in case I hadn't said it earlier, UFW is the front end for IP tables on most uh, Linux uh, machines, especially Ubuntu machines. So with UFW, you can go ahead and uh, manipulate the IP tables, which is the firewall, and uh, you can go ahead and do it with that. So now that we have UFW uh, enabled, the one thing that we want to do is open up for port 22 or port SSH to be enabled and used. Okay. And so to do that, we're just going to type in the command sudo space UFW space allow space and then 22. And that will open up the port for 22. Now you can either do 22, which will allow the port to be open for both TCP and UDP, or you can do slash TCP. Okay, for now we're just going to go ahead and have both uh, protocols open and we're just going to press enter. Okay, so the rule has been added and then to check it out you can do a sudo space UFW space status. Press enter and as you can see now port 22 is open and it's the only firewall that we have that uh, or it's the um, only port currently that we have open. One other thing you want to do by default is you want to set uh, UFW or your firewall to deny all incoming uh, packets so that none of the bad guys can just put in any type of malware and to do that you want to run this command that's going to be sudo space UFW space 
D for oops deny incoming let's press enter and then you get the screen that says default incoming default incoming policy change to deny be sure to update rules accordingly okay and so after that what you want to do is you want to go ahead and reload the firewall or restart it and you do that with the command sudo space ufw space reload and press enter firewall has been reloaded so I think that's good enough for today thank you very much for watching this video please like and subscribe and you have a good day bye bye